I'm trying to build a 3D printed go-kart to race Matt Denton. And, and win, of course. And for that, I made my own construction blocks that I've refined with other projects. For this phase of the build, I have two goals. The first one to be able to sit in it and the second one to be able to roll in it. And as a third bonus, if it stays in one piece, that'd be great. So let's get to it. Let's make a seat. It may not look like it, but this is the seat of the go-kart. And now we need to install it on the chassis in the right position and the right angle. And for that, I've been doing some testing with the previous version and this seat mock-up about the, the steering wheel position, angles, heights, distances, and I think I've got it. This in here is the right spot. The seat is going to be held against the chassis in the worst way possible with only two screws. So I've printed these special screws flat against the bed, so the layer orientation helps me a bit. And I've also printed them in Polymaker's PLA Pro, which is way tougher than regular PLA. Remember that Polymaker is the proud filament sponsor of this channel. Go and check the link in the description to get some of the awesome filament. And now let's see if this holds up. Right now, the entire seat is supported against the chassis in the front and held in place with these two screws in here. And as it is in my best interest to make the chassis as rigid as possible, I'm going to install this beam in the bottom, just under the seat, which will make the chassis more rigid and also support the seat from below. And now the entire base of the seat is supported by this beam in here. And to keep working towards that rigidity, I printed this huge plate that goes in the back. And now I will put one of these two at the front and start building the steering rack from here. The ring for the steering wheel has finished printing and it's, it's printed on flexible filament and the idea was to, to press fit it in here but it has proven to be quite an impossible task so it's time to go back to Onshape and, and make these two parts. Onshape is a professional CAD plus PDM platform for businesses that is accessible across all platforms because it works in the browser just like Google Docs. I just have to open Chrome and I can split the wheel in no time. It is great to work in teams and to work directly with suppliers or manufacturers as you can now easily collaborate on the same document across the world at the same time because a document will stay updated no matter where it's open or who modifies it. Onshape also includes industry-leading manufacturing-specific features for sheet metal and frame-based design as well as surfacing, configurations, detailed drawings and finite element analysis. 
and to make things even better, Onshape recently acquired a company called Cloud Milling, which means that professional grade CAM is coming to Onshape soon as well. I highly recommend the engineers and product developers watching to consider using Onshape for their products. You can try it for free at onshape.pro slash Ivan Miranda. And now let's put this on the go-kart. In this section of the go-kart, there is only this part of this beam and the same on the other side, keeping everything in one piece. So I will add now one of these on each side so it stays in one piece. Staying in one piece, that, that's great. and an extra reinforcement for the back of the seat. And this blocking here supports this blocking here through here, because as you can see, I'm quite worried about breaking it with my back. And finally, it's time to assemble the wheels. The wheels are a four part assembly, two parts of Polymaker PLA in red, and two parts on Polymaker's Polyflex HF filament. HF means high flow, and I printed this with the exact same settings as this, apart of almost removing all retraction. And that makes it awesome to work with this filament. So let's make some wheels. Some, some, some wheel, wheels. For now, I'm going to use a provisional shaft for the rear wheels because I'm not sure how I'm going to do the braking and the motors and everything. I think it's ready to roll, but I have a, a small issue. This thing is incredibly heavy. I think that Matt is going to smoke me on the drag race just by how heavy this is. Try to make it lighter. But it is what it is. So I will bring the ramp and try to get it off the table without dying or breaking it. It is so heavy. This is too heavy. It does roll with no one in the seat, so let's test if it does roll with me on it. Okay. 
Okay, my full weight is on it. No cracking sounds. Nothing seems to be collapsing. Let's see if I can move the steering wheel. We have already established that I can sit in it. So now let's see if I can roll in it. It saved me. <laughs> that was fun. Mission accomplished. I can sit in it. It does roll with me on it. It didn't break. I was really scared about the front shafts because those are made of plastic. They held up. I printed those in Polymaker PLA Pro to give them a better chance. And it seems that that was a good idea. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons and members. Thank you, because this is awesome. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and now please go and make something. <laughs> I cannot believe this is my job.